We created this film in order to inform and educate people on what Airbnb is and how it works. And we chose that form because it shows the journey that the traveler takes when they travel on Airbnb. We decided that the best approach probably would be to do it all for real, in camera, not using any CG, not using any cuts. So, yeah, we laid out the entire track, we cut out the foam core shapes, a lot of which is rubbish, rubbish now, but um, that was used as a guide, as a blueprint for what you've got here. I've made lots of trips to Hobby City and I've worn a lot of glue. I'm now involved in uh, fine tuning the, uh, the, the rotating apartments. As you can see here, um, use a mold to cast the texture of the rock. Making some stones, and right now I'm cutting it in house. Made, made loads of houses over there, scraped some tracks. Just we're at the stage where we're finishing all the different sets off now, so we're just painting. That's a lot of work on that, but it's, it's, it's coming together, it's all coming together very well. It took almost 30 people five weeks. We used 300 meters of 4 by 2 30 cubic meters of polystyrene. We used 12 liters of glue to create this epic 85 square meter miniature set. What made the concept attractive to us was the handmade feel and the love for detail. And the, the, the part of making the world a smaller place is what Airbnb stands for and what magically happens when you travel and when you have local experiences versus just traveling like a tourist. We had to find some devices in order to speed up the film, so we came up with this idea of using these mechanical transitions to get the train in and out of environments really quickly. There were a lot of challenges along the way as well. For instance, the camera rig was very wobbly and we had to find ways to stabilize the camera. The train tracks actually went through water at some point, so we could no longer have the electricity being fed through the train tracks and we had to make a battery-operated train. All the different transitions that were hand-operated had to be uh, incredibly coordinated. We had nine different people doing several jobs at once, running around trying to get ahead of the train and fill things up with water, tilt things over, rotate things. So uh, it took us a lot of rehearsal to get it and on the day it took us 85 tries to get that one perfect take. But uh, it's uh, uh, more funny to work on this project uh, because there is a uh, old house and many details and really good. I just kind of want to say this is an like, awesome project. I think it's amazing. It was amazing to work on that project. The outcome is unbelievable. Everybody's blown away by it. The love for detail, the, the you want to watch it again because it's so rich and it has so much detail. Cool, and that's all I have to say about that. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that.